is Manny Santiago. I'm 28 years old, born in Puerto Rico, was raised in Lowell, Massachusetts. Manny has come a long way from the island where he was born, where there was no chance at a career in skateboarding. When I first started skating, I did it just for the simple fact that it mentally took my mind away from everything that was going on in my life, you know? And I remember going to the park one day and just like kind of watching the guy skate. And I'm one of those people that always wants to try everything. So as soon as I stepped on a board, I kind of was like, wow, this is really hard. It wasn't even easy even to ride, even to stand on. So it caught my attention like good. And I was like, wow, this is, this is, this seems fun. Cause when I was skating, I wasn't really thinking about anything. I was just thinking of how do you get your balance? How do you push? How do they make it look so easy? Cause the guys are doing tray flips, they're doing crooked grinds. And I was just blown away. Um, and then uh, three of my best friends just so happened to start skateboarding at the time. And it was history from there. <laughs> I do it because it's my oasis from life. Like when I skate, I don't think of it, what's going on. I just think about like what I'm doing, how much fun I'm having, and how I can figure out how to do the trick I'm trying. His creativity and trick selection always made him a standout at every session. I was never the contest guy. Best trick, yes, because you could fall, you can have fun, and that's a whole different dynamic. Like of skating like in it when you have a one minute run to define your skating that doesn't do it the turning point for me though was the crossroads contest at black box where it was a 30 minute jam with the best pros that, that even now um the only one that wasn't there was paul i believe but you had tori you had sheckler you had nija you had Chris Cole, who has never lost a black box contest, ever. It was crazy, but I've always known that I've had what it takes to do what I wanted. And I felt like in that, at that time, I wanted to win that contest. What was going through my mind was, I can, I can do all my tricks on these two hubbas. I, didn't, I forgot there was a fence at the bottom. For 95% of the contest, I forgot there was a fence at the bottom of the stairs. So after winning that, I felt like, wow, I can really keep up with the top pros in skating in these contests. So then that's when I started to realize like, man, I got to really work on this. So I did spend hours and hours at the barracks. You know, I would go there by myself from 11 to one in the morning. Like I would sit there and practice tricks and perfect my skating so I can show everybody what I had to bring to the table, you know? 25 year old Manny Santiago. And talk about a best trick skater. Manny Santiago has so many crazy moves. He wants to impress the judges. He really does go for such yeah. hard tricks like that. Kickflip frontside 50 50. I wasn't so much scared because I kind of prepared myself for it. But no matter what, when you drop in at a contest, for me anyway, like I still get the butterflies. I knew for sure I, I had no choice but to make finals. So. Really, for me, it's like as long as I make the finals, like the rest of it is kind of just fun and I, I go with the flow. So when they called my name for third place, I couldn't even believe it. Like my first dude tour ever, third place, trophy. It was one of the craziest moments. I couldn't even believe it. When I got that call to be in the select series, I couldn't believe it, it was crazy. I knew that this was my chance to really, really show them what I could do, you know? It was wild because I ended up winning the first select series in Brazil, I couldn't even believe it. The last two tries, I was last because I qualified first to the finals of the Select Series. Lutzka was killing it. He just needed one more big trick, which would have had to push me to do something gnarly. I think it was like in the nines. Once Lutzka bailed, it put him below me and I already won. In my last try, I was already, I was already the winner. And it was a feeling I've never felt before. I had this rush from my head to my toes. Like my, I felt like I just like, like something came out of me. I was like, wow, this is crazy. Cause I instantly won without having to do a last trick. A lot of people were gunning after my spot because I won the first one. So in Barcelona, boom, again, I win the second one. So I win two select series in a row. Then the next day, you know, the contest all over again. Man, I'm like, this, I hope this doesn't happen again. I don't want to drop the ball. Like, I know I have it, I have it, I have it. Chipping away, chipping away, ended up in third place and got podium, you know? So imagine the pressure I had when we got to Germany. You know, it was like the worst, like, 
If I, it's the worst thing ever happened. I got food poisoning the day before we had to fly to Germany. My setup get, got messed up when I was home and I ended up skating the wrong trucks and it messed my whole mind up with my tricks. Manny, I think that, I think the width of the hub is messing him up. That's what I think. Same trick, but yeah. Wow, Manny Santiago with his third straight miss. I think I got dead last in Germany, which everyone was so confused because I go from winning two contests in a row to getting third place in podium to not even making the finals of the rookie league. In my head, I'm like, oh my God, if I don't make the finals in LA, those two wins I just got were for nothing. Get to LA. I do good in my run. I do good in the control section. I'm like, all right, big section, here we go. I got to land four out of six. So I kick flip the stairs, a front side flip the stairs, bail, front side flip the stairs, then second last try, I tray flip the stairs, barely clearing it, and then I was like, all right, I'm in. So the next trick didn't even matter because I knew I made the finals. I tried a three shove, bailed it, and I knew that I was the number one overall uh, skater in select series for 2013. It makes more sense to me to go to the gym, go to the trainer, and ice myself than it is to ignore these things and then not be able to skate, you know? I wanna skate to my best abilities, and if that's what it's gonna take, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm getting lightheaded mad. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good. You healthy? I'm good. What's up with your brain oh. right now? Yeah. Go top juice. I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready. <laughs> yeah, my left ankle's like been, remember every time I'm like it's yeah. stiff as shit. And then my right knee hurts this morning because I skated excessively a lot last night at Beeble's Park. My knees have been kind of hurting, you know, the last couple months, so I had to make sure I was okay, and it was just more, it wasn't even my knees, it was more my muscles from overworking them that was pulling on my knees, which is cool. You get to actually learn stuff as you go to these doctors. I go, you know, Dr. Eddie at, you know, at BDX Cairo. He specifically has certain workouts for me to make me better, you know. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to be 100% and to better myself so I can be a better skateboarder. While training is typically looked at as taboo by skateboarders, Manny embraces it. To be able to skate consistently at this level, he will have to be in his best shape possible. tell everybody else these contests is not me versus you I don't see it that way I it's me versus me it's me versus what tricks I know I can do the best if you really want it you got to dig deep and go for it like I told someone today you got to sit in the back of the bus before you can drive care of my body. My body will, is what keeps me skating. And if it's going to take me going to the gym, if it's going to take me going to a train, if it's going to take me sitting in an ice bath for 25 minutes, that's what I'm going to have to do. When I get out the tub, I literally have to pick my leg up with my hand because I can't move it. Because it's numb. It's kind of scary. I want to be the best I can be on a skateboard so that some kid from the middle of nowhere who thought they don't have a chance to make it as a pro skateboarder can because I did it. 
If one could say sparring with Floyd Mayweather would lead to a great boxing career, the same can be said for a skateboarder skateboarding with the best in the world. Tricks that were once only done every few years have now become a daily ritual on a journey towards mastery. I'm as ready as I'll ever be, you know. First stop, Nike Park, six and mill. Um, I'm just not holding back. I'm gonna bring everything I can do and I'm gonna walk away with one in my hand by the end of this series. They say there's no such thing as luck. Rather, when timing and preparation meet in one place, they come together at Street League Skateboarding's first stop in downtown Los Angeles.